All right, guys and girls, we are back for another Mad Vision video. I know it's been a long time. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just been MIA, I guess. But uh, I got this package here from Jason over at Mustang Hunter. He uh, was trying to help me out with my collection. I posted a little post on a few pages, actually. But uh, Jason had replied back and said, hey, I got you. And uh, I think in one of my videos, I had said, uh, it was probably a few videos ago, but I said I was trying to get all that Honda S2000 castings, and that's what he sent here. And then this box here is from Bullet Tony Custom. It was a giveaway uh, winnings that I didn't even know about until you know he told me, hey, you might want to watch it. But this one here, at first I was like, I didn't order anything from JCar, so I was confused what it was. I opened it up. You know, I should I should just looked on the side there. It says Bullet Tony Customs, but you know, was, the funny thing about this one was that the sticky note was shipped with it and it actually stayed on. So uh, let's do a quick opening here. Uh, this one's already open, like I said. So let's let's open this real quick. All right. So what he sent me was channel sticker. I have I have a spot over there for all the channel stickers. I just don't have a actual spot to stick them yet so and i don't know i don't know if i want to stick them anywhere because if i stick them somewhere they're going to be you know that's per where it's going to be permanently so i might just keep the stickers as is all right so that's his sticker which actually i think is a really cool sticker that's the bullet from uh um, mario's i want to say all right and this one here was the civic i want to say three yeah, three is the Civic. And then he also sent me the red edition Nissan Silvia S15. I absolutely love this one. Uh, this is probably my... This might be my favorite car. Favorite mainline. No, 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 the Supra is pretty good. Yeah, this might be my favorite mainline of the year. The red edition one. Uh, the gold one's pretty cool. Just because the gold reminds me a lot of uh, the top secret gold. Uh, if you guys don't know what the top secret gold is and uh just google it they've made supras they made actually i think they made s15 as well but uh they do some insane work but yeah i got this from him and last but not least this one's actually pretty cool it's the mini gt liberty walk uh bmw m4 now i don't collect many things outside from jdm but bmws i do have a few bmws i love the m3 but yeah this is the m4 uh here let's open it up real quick i think it's i want to say there we go let's see if i get one-handed all right so the color is baby blue which actually if you guys don't know baby blue is my favorite color so that's actually pretty cool Come on. There we go. Oh, look at that beauty. Yeah, that is a beauty right there. Mini GT, they, Mini GT, they make fantastic castings and replicas. This is amazing right here. Look at that detail. The wide body, the carbon. Let's see if I can pick that up. The carbon carbon roof but yeah this is nice uh here let's put this in display case actually we'll put it right underneath the other bmw perfect all right so uh tony thank you so much for the prize and i do still have to send you a sticker so but i don't want to just send the sticker i want to send other stuff too so once I get a good package going for you, then I'll ship out the sticker with, you know, whatever I'm sending you. But yeah, once again, Tony, thank you so much for this. All right. So we'll set that aside. All right. Round two. This is Jason. Now, I, re I bought a jammer from uh, Hobby Lobby just for this. Uh, if you guys are wondering how much it is, it's $9.99 plus tax and stuff. So it's actually pretty cheap. Or, yeah, for the most part, it's pretty cheap. I think Joanne Fabrics is like... 12.99 or something like that Let's see if i can do this one-handed 
All right, I'm about to say you guys down. I can't do this one-handed. Yeah, this box has been around. It's been shipped around a little bit. All right, let's see. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we got in this box, guys. Oh, it's another A hey, channel sticker. That one's pretty cool. I like this one. It's got the uh, what is it? The golf, almost like the golf uh, golf colors. All right, where's Tony's? Put it right there next to his. All right. Oh, he sent the mystery one too. Number ten. What's number ten? I can get this one handed. Nope, I can't. Alright, I gotta set you guys set you guys down again. Hold on. Okay, so number 10. Oh, that's the 24-7. Right? 24-7? Is that what this one's called? Yep, right there. 24-7. This is the uh, kind of like the original RX7, I guess you could say. Where it's based off the RX7. You can kind of tell. Do I have RX7? Oh, I do have RX7. Ah, and I even have my R7 with the spoiler here that I did. I took it off. If anybody's wondering, this spoiler, I took it off of the uh, Nissan Skyline R33. So that looks better than the original factory one, in my opinion. It looks more like the Spirit R. But yeah, check that out. That's the original, uh, kind of like the replica of the RX7. And then there's my RX7. Yeah, I just switched out the wheels too to uh these bronze wheels and i got these bronze wheels actually from chase i got it from chase sheer sheer and uh he sent me i didn't do an unboxing video on that one but he sent me uh did i do an unboxing oh yeah i did yeah i did do one duh all right yeah he sent me the real rider boxes uh as a Random act of kindness. Yeah, it was this one right here. I grabbed the 10 spokes off this kit right here and threw it on the RX-7 because, I don't know, this thing deserved, in my opinion, this thing deserved the the bronze 10 spokes. But yeah, this was actually, if you guys don't know, this is actually one of my very first customs that I did. And I'm glad I still have it. I'm glad I didn't get rid of it or anything. But yeah, I love this thing. And for the longest time, it didn't have clear coat on it but I just put clear cut on it. Now this looks amazing right there. It's like glass. All right, let's put that back in there. All right, so anyways, yeah, that's the 24 seven. The sticker is in there, okay. We'll set that there. All right, what else we got in here? Oh, geez. Oh, what's in here? Oh, Porsche, this is the... 71 9 11. okay so i'm not like derek i don't know the, these casting by heart oh yeah this one's nice you know what this one's gonna get this one's gonna get a wheel swap and it doesn't have a, a wide rear base so i don't have to widen the rear axles or anything like that but yeah i actually don't have one of these so and guess what i do have a see all right this is a mess up here but i do have a porsche Porsche jammer right there got the transport that white ones from the fast and furious this is from i forgot what set this was from that's the red edition that mystery model the 911 gt3 the id the matchbox one I, I was happy to find that one that one's really nice uh and then i just got that one that's the moving parts matchbox i got that one just the other day so yeah i do have some Porsche in my collection as well so that will be going in there. I get a receipt. Let's see, let's put, yeah, put it still on the ground. But yeah, this right here, I didn't, this thing is awesome. This is the Hans Supra, which I don't think, do I? Oh, I do, okay. I didn't think I had one loose, but right there, that's the Fast and Furious one. And this is my Fast and Furious side of the jammer, as you guys can see. And on this side, Skylines, my loose Skylines. But yeah, this thing's awesome. 
I believe this is Jada. Uh, yep, Jada Toys. Oh yeah, this thing is awesome. You know, I can't remember if I've ever seen this one or not. Okay, let's check this out. Love the color in this one. I wish Hot Wheels would have gone with the gloss instead of the matte. Yeah, that's a nice paint job. I wish they would have gone with the gloss uh, paint instead of the flat that they did on the, the Fast and Furious one. Which, I mean, I guess I could just put clear coat on it, but, you know, would have been saved me some time from doing any of that. Yeah, this thing's nice. Does it say BMW in there too? No. Fun fact, if you guys open up the hood on a Mark... I guess this would be a Mark VI. But uh, the new Supra, majority of the stuff underneath the hood will say BMW because BMW and Toyota got together to make this thing. All right, so let's set this let's set right here. Yeah, this is nice. I love the Jada 124s. I'm going to have to find... I'm going to make a new shelf for 124 scales. Okay, let's throw that on the ground. Oh, what are these ones here? Man, Jason, you sent a whole bunch of extras. I did not know about these. This is uh, the blue card Nissan 300ZX. I will... You know what? I'm going to keep this one carded. This one's definitely not going to be opened up. But, yeah, I think the cars back then, they all came metal base. But, yeah, these things got some weight to it. And I think... I want to say the doors open up on these ones. Oh, what's back there? You guys see that? It's a tennis racket and I think that's tennis balls. I wonder if anybody knows the backstory to that right there. If you know the backstory to that, put it in the comment section because I have no clue why they have that Easter egg in there. Like I know one of the Porsche, mm, I forgot which one it was, but they have a stethoscope in there and that was to pay... Uh, tribute basically to uh ryu asada's cancer doctor and they put that inside that porsche but yeah this one's nice i love the purple on this one all right and the next one is the rx7 funny thing is i've seen these but i've never never actually picked one up so this one will be opened up and i will put it next to the mazda right there i'll put it next to the other mazdas that i have right there but yeah, I love this color. It's like a kind of like a I don't know. Burgundy red. Candy apple red? I don't know. But yeah, I love the design on this one. And like I said, I just never I never picked this one up for some reason. But now I don't have to. I got one in the collection. Oh! And the treasure hunt. You know what's funny? My wife found her very first treasure hunt. Or not very first treasure hunt. Her very first treasure hunt was actually the Jeep. Uh, Wrangler from the FKs back in 20 it was last year 2022 uh, with the Civic but anyways she found her very first super right there she found that at Family Dollar and I told her I said look for a 32 Ford and she pulled it out she's like this one I'm like that's it that's the super and we all geeked out I I wish I would be recording you know I wish I would record some of my hunts but, you know, as of late, there really hasn't been much. So it's like, feels like wasted time pulling out the phone to record nothing. So I don't want to waste my time. I didn't want to waste your guys' time. But I did find a Lotus, um, I want to say it's called the Lotus Evaya. That one I found at Target. They put out four cases and one, uh, there was only one Super, but right there. But yeah, this is a Muscle and Blown. Uh, Treasure Hunt logo is right there there if you guys can see it and obviously the writing in the back but the treasure hunt that we found was all jacked which is kind of funny the box was completely mangled but the super was in perfect condition most of the other cards were all jacked so uh we got very lucky with, with that 32 ford and funny thing i have never found a super at family dollar but my wife found her first super and it was at a store i haven't even found anything yet yet all right so there we go this is what this is what i was expecting right here i was not expecting that that and these ones right there 
Okay, so let me move all this so I can put in the jammer. All right, so the S2000, if you guys don't know, is my favorite affordable dream car. My dream car that I probably will never be able to own just because of all the process and everything, which I guess I won't say, can't say it's impossible, but uh, the S2000, actually, I don't know, the S2000 has gone up in price too, so I don't even know if that's worth it or yeah i don't know i don't know it's still gonna be very expensive but yeah the s15 is my dream car right there but yeah the s2000 is my dream car that i can get here in america all right so the first car we got here is the uh tain suspension honda s2000 and i want to say this is a kmart exclusive oh this one's mint We'll keep it mint. Yeah, I want to say it's a Kmart exclusive. All right, so we'll put that in there. All right, so the next one is the Ryu Asada Red. Uh, this one, I want to say was the second or third release. Because the first one was the yellow one, which is in there. Or, no, that's not it. I have one that uh, it's in the yellow jammer. But yeah. This is, I want to say it was the second release, uh, second recolor of the release. But yeah, this is a red one. So we'll put that right there. All right, so this one right here is the most recent one, uh, other than the Zamac. The Zamac is actually the most recent one. But this one is the recolor because it came back in yellow, which is right there. But yeah, this one, uh, I think, I don't know which one I like better, the yellow or the red. I'm gonna have to say the yellow, I think I like better. Cause I've always wanted a yellow S2000. All right, now this one right here is the Walmart exclusive Fast and Furious. Uh, I don't know, those are main lines? Special series main lines, I guess. But yeah, I actually have one of, the, where is it, is it here? No, it must be up in that jammer. But yeah, I have one and I redid it into the, uh, basically the Charlotte S2000 uh, convention S2000. And cause it's like basically identical. The color is almost the same, but you know, this part right here is black. The roof, uh, the roof cover is black. And I mean, the hard, hard top, the hard top is black and the spoiler is black. So yeah, it was really easy to replicate and it had five spokes, I want to say. Five spoke with a chrome lip. Oh yeah, this one's awesome. We'll put that right there. Actually, let's move this one over. And let's put this red one with the other red ones. Oh geez, they're all falling down. You know what, here. Okay, that's a bad idea. Hold on one second. Okay, so I have it propped up so now they can stay up a little better. Okay. All right, and the next baggie we have here is more S2000s. What a surprise. Okay, this is also one of those Walmart uh, mainline exclusives. Now, this came in two variations, one with the Y, I want to say this Y5. See, I don't know. I'm not like Jason who knows all the wheels by heart. I want to say these are the Y5s. And then it also came in the PR5s. And I think, I think he said he included that one too, the, the wheel variation. But yeah, there's that one. And this is the Suki, the Suki S2000 from Too Fast Too Furious, if you don't know. Now these ones are from 2020, I wanna say. When I first started collecting, these were around Funny thing is that they were, these were like basically peg warmers. But yeah, this one actually, I don't think it's, it's not bad. Uh, but the wheel choice, I'm not a fan of the aero disc or whatever they call these ones. So a wheel swap is all that one needs. And then the same with the green one. Uh, the green one is just a recolor of that yellow one, except this one's got the green chrome instead of the white. Come on. There we go. And these are in mint condition. 
You know what? I think I'm going to keep the wheels as is. I don't think I'm going to wheel swap these. Yeah, I'm going to keep these as is. Oh, yeah, this one's CE. I don't guess they are all black base. But yeah, this is the green one. All right, so the next one is the yellow version of the Ryu Asada release that they did this year. And they did the Zamac version based off of these two right here. So the only thing that, you know, the only thing the Zamac, well, the only thing, the only difference between this one and the Zamac is that there's no paint. All the, the deco, decals and everything are the same. But I have one of these that I did a wheel swap on. So we'll keep this one stock right here. Put the yellow right next to the yellow. All right, so last loose one we got here Come on. is the second or th third, second or third recolor of the original, uh, the original release, the first release. But yeah. Uh, this one reminds me a lot of the premium. It's almost the exact same color as the premium uh, from the fast, not the fast import, the street tuners. The street tuners has this, but then it's got those uh, ugly, meshy wheels. Those ones right there. It's got those wheels. And the reason why I say it's ugly is because it's all black. You can't even see it. That's why I'm not a fan of it. Like if it was chromed out a little bit like that or something like that, I would think it would have been okay, but with it being all black, I wasn't a fan of it. But this one, I have one up there that I ordered off of eBay. So this one might end up getting wheel swap because this wheel's got some weird gummy things on it anyway. So I'll probably swap this one up with uh, some new wheels. So we'll put that right there. Okay, so the carded ones here. Okay, so that is the Johnny Tran S2000, which I don't have one at all. I want to open this one up. I want to open it so I have it. Oh wait, I do have, I got the premium version. So yeah, I guess I'll keep this one carded. I'll have to find a little section for the Honda S2000, uh, all the carded S2000s. But yeah, this one's awesome. I like it. I'm a huge fan of this one. But yeah, this was the uh, very first release of the Honda S2000 in the Fast and Furious series. Uh, Johnny Tran's infamous Honda 2000 that uh, Toretto was talking about. So we'll put the carded stuff over here. And here's a variation right here that I was talking about. This is the PR5 and that is the Y5. So that's the only diff, I think that's the only difference between these two was that the wheels. And I have a local buddy here. He's uh, selling me one as well. So I'll just open up, I'll, I'll open up the other one. This one's special, this one's from Jason. Okay, and then these two, like, okay, so we got loose and we got carded ones right there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to probably end up turning one of these into a custom. Because I am I have one more S2000 headlights and taillight water slide. So I'll probably turn one of these into a custom. I'll we'll keep those over there. And last but not least, we have the Matchbox uh, Honda S2000 which i don't have this one i have the red i have the white but i don't have the yellow version I, I mean i knew about it but i just never came across one right do i not have any oh there's the there's a red oh and then yeah there's the white there we go red white this is the moving parts i wheel swapped it and then that is the collector series, which is the same as that right there, but just in yellow instead of red. But I'll have to reorganize some of these um, jammers. But yeah, uh, so we got all these right here from Jason. Boom, boom. And more than likely, I'm going to open this up and put in the jammer as well because the box is crushed. So we'll just put that in there. And all that's from Jason. And then we got that from Tony. What else did he send? Uh, that right there. And the uh, mystery. Oh, here, let's let's check out the mystery model Civic real quick. If anybody's never, you know, if you haven't seen it, here, let me set this down real quick. Okay. So we'll put the two mystery models next to each other. 
There we go. So this comes in the red 10 spokes. And they, I don't know. I was never really a big fan of this one, but this one's actually, this one's not bad. Or this, this uh, body style. This is, I want to say is the European Type R. Because we never got this Type R in America. No, it's actually pretty good. I'll probably wheel swap this one. This one needs... Yeah, it needs to be slammed and needs wheel swap, so we'll do that. This one will go into the jammer with the Mazdas because that's basically what it is, is a Mazda. It's like a fan Mazda fantasy. But yeah, huge thanks to you, Tony, and huge thanks to you, Jason. And uh, you guys, just stay tuned for my next episode. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace out.